So if you have fellowship with the church, you have fellowship with Jesus. If you have fellowship with Jesus, you have fellowship with God. If you have fellowship with God, then you experience what? Love. love. <laughs> but it's not a love. You experience God. So, if you look at that passage real quickly, don't do it now. Verse 3 is the key to understanding this letter. Koinonia fellowship claims, John claims, that he and others uh, have had and continue having an ongoing personal, historical, physical relationship with God in Christ. And they enjoy this relationship as they fellowship with God in Christ. And they fellowship with God in Christ in the local church. What is the nature of this fellowship? How does this fellowship come about? And John's answer is very clear. It comes about by behaving toward each other um, in an honorable, decent, caring way. John is saying this kind of love doesn't happen on the mountaintops nor by pouring over the philosophical drippings from the ink-stained fingers of the intellectual elites. No, fellowship with God, fellowship with Christ, only and only happens when worshipers do just that. Worship, pray, play, uh, groan, argue, be ornery together, be quiet together, be caring together, eat with each other, share with each other, visit each other, get mad at each other, be human beings with each other and never tear the fabric of the church apart. If you do that, you'll discover who Jesus is. If you behave that way, you'll discover who God is. If you order your life that way, you will discover love. In other words, unmistakable Unmistakable. Yeah. Unmistakably. We're to be a family together and all the trappings that come along with being a family. And it's in your church family that you discover love. Now, we'll talk about that because I know people are going to disagree with that. And they will say that, as Bob didn't want me to sing it, but they will say, but I did find love on a two-way street. And Paul and John would say, no, you didn't. Well, we'll talk about that later. We have to celebrate um, Rue's 30th birthday. <laughs> it is, and I'm so happy about that, and I wish you many more. And it's because I love you, you see. Uh, what's our closing hymn? Our closing hymn, please, 359.
we give thee thanks for this good day, this beautiful day. Now, I would ask that we would go out here and start loving people. And that means behaving with people in a way that's comforting and kind and gentle and forgiving. Behaving uh, in the Imago Dei, in the image of God, in the Imago Christo, the image of Christ. That's a good loving thing to do and to be. Blessings on everybody here, from the poorest to the richest, from the most sinful to the most glorious. Blessings on every human being here, now and forevermore. Amen.